in this video a very very short video about uh, say my mp3 player that I bought say 15 years ago uh, I repaired it many times uh, the battery inside uh, was of course after such a long time completely out and I ordered via Ali this battery but uh, well it didn't work so well after say approximately three months or so it also got broke uh, could be uh, that there was inside that mp3 player uh, a fault I don't know that exactly but anyway so I had to make a power supply and that's here this is by the way the standard 5 volt power supply overall used and this power supply gives out when I read uh, the data 1 ampere at approximately 5 volts uh, is that enough? of course that's enough to serve such a mp3 player it takes uh, in general approximately say 100 milliampere, 200 milliampere, etc. And then I mean during one hour. So that also means that here with 300 milliampere, uh, it can work between say one hour and approximately three hours. Anyway, um, here is the whole ID. Uh, I made another video this evening where I have explained that much better but anyway I made a flaw in that video so this is what it is the good idea the best idea is here uh, the standard power supply here is connected here between the positive and the negative so this one goes with its positive and its negative uh, to these leads and then we have here not CX but a resistor uh, a resistor between say 10 ohms and 100 ohms uh, that depends on the say the voltage that the circuit has to take in this case approximately 150 milliampere uh, so you have to do some experiments the values of that resistor are between 10 ohms and 100 ohms 100 ohms is in fact a little bit too much but anyway 10 ohms 50 ohms and you can even here say shortcut it and the reason is that we have here also a silicon diode it gives a voltage drop in the order of 0.7 to 0 0.8 volts so when you have here 5 volts at the input the output will be approximately 4 volts and then we are say in the order where the original battery had to work so uh, that is more or less all to tell thanks for watching um, you can do these experiments with, with that resistor you can also say skip that resistor and directly use a 1N407 and perhaps interesting to tell when you switch diodes in a row each diode drops the voltage in the order of 0.7 to 0 0.8 volts so when you connect here not one diode or but two or three or four you can limit the uh, current and the voltage to that mp3 player not so much more to tell let's listen
Okay, that was Udo Jurgens. Uh, well, anyway, um, other music is of course possible. I don't have to explain that. Thanks for watching again. And that's uh, so what it is. And the good thing is that these uh, 5 volt power supplies are overall found. Uh, often in a junk box, etc. Uh, etc. Et Many of these 5 volt power supplies are thrown away. They, they don't have a uh, transformer inside, so directly coupled. Uh, 5 volt power supply to the mains. Here it is 230 volts, but it can also be 110 volts, etc. etc. Thanks for watching.